What is good, YouTube? You tuned into an episode of A1 Gaming TV. As you see, we still have the Elder Brock Mustang right here by Jason79TX. Nice build, Jason. It actually looks pretty good. I like your name in the window. Yes, yeah, sir, but y'all seen that in the last video, so let's take a look at some of my cars. Um, Should I be honest with y'all? Might as well be honest with y'all. Go ahead and take a look up at my money. I have a modded account. So um, I'm currently rebuilding my fleet because I didn't want to put the modded account on my current device or my old device pretty much with my regular cars because I did not want them to um, ban my account. Like if they ban this account, I won't really be as hurt because none of these cars is really tuned except for my donks and the drift car. Um, I like the two C10s here. I started building this C10. But then I realized it was a stock car, so I went and bought this one. But as you see by the title, we will be going over a drift build. So um, the best car to drift in this game, I would say a super. I'm not going to say the best car, but the most logical car in the game to drift would be the super. And you will see me sliding down my screen just so I can make sure it keeps recording because I'm not trying to redo this over and over again. So let's... um. I guess I'll give y'all one power slide. Let's see what it do. Hold up. I'm just not with it right now, y'all. It's not Oh, he would mess me up. Hang on, cop. Usually. Um, I would say usually because I don't really come out here drifting except for my dunk videos. I come out here doing burnouts and stuff a little more. But um, I was getting a high score, a very high score. Then out of nowhere, a Fox Body Mustang came and messed up my score. Um, I didn't hit nothing, but he hit me, so it failed me. And then I seen him hit other folks. Like, I really feel like we need a bigger, like, map, a bigger free roam because it'd be, like, the cars is pretty fast and people just keep bumping into each other. Do he want to smoke? All right, so that was pretty fun, but I'm not a pro drifter. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all the tune so I can get back to my drifting. We probably pull out the dunk after this because I do have a drift dunk. So first thing first, make sure you have a small block. I guess that would be stage two small block. Um, I went with a small block because this is a Toyota Supra. Don't think the V6s is, is a big block. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me, but... Since we can't have a V6, I'm like, we might as well do a small block. 
Everything else, max it to the max to the max. Um, everything is fully built. We got um intakes, exhaust, turbo, fully built. Transmission actually didn't touch that, so don't worry about your transmission. Just go with the three stage clutch, stage three clutch. Um, your suspension, upgrade all of that. Really upgrade your brakes, rear brakes, suspension, front suspension, all of that good stuff, the axles, and go with a four link because this is how you will control your car. It helps you control it. Frame, we don't have no roll cage, of course no wheelie bar because we're not popping wheelies, we pop them tire smoke. Weight reduction have it very heavy so you can actually control it. It won't just be like a feather, I guess. Weight transfer don't really matter. Now the tires, I think I did have 20s on here, but I went down to 19s. So make sure you got 26 and a half height, 10 by 5 width, and then 19 in the back. And then up front is 26 and a half height, 9.0 width, and then 19s up front. All right. Transmission, this is what it is. It's only hitting 172, but this is not a race car. It is a drift car, so copy them gears if you want to copy them just pause the game um the suspension really copy the suspension because i have this car actually drifting pretty good so your clearance up front all the way down on point 20 and the rear point 25 your stiffness all the way down so 2000 or is that 20,000 20,000 in the back 3000 up front your bump you want to 3,900 up front, 3,200 in the back. 4,000 in the back, 3,900 up front. Extension um, is 0.34. I like the, my stuff to be flush. Even though the front wheel probably could come out some more, but we're going to leave it as it is. Or we're going to bring it out. So, so we're going to go 32 up front. All right, what was that? Suspension. We don't have a wheelie bar. Weight, I got it 0.43 in the back and 0 0.05 all the way down. Uh, computer. This is, I think, because this is a script car, so I guess this is how they had it tuned. We're not really worried about no launching or whatever, but at least make your limited RPM um, 10,000. Yup, 10,000, not 100,000. And that's going to be it, bro. So that's all you need to build a drift car well i guess tune a drift car because i built this car off camera then i was like man i should have did a build video but it's too late for that the car was already built so um you get the tune all right so this donk i'm actually working on making it fast i kind of want to um take them flames off the side it's just too much going on this one right here i do like it so let's go and take it out for drifting. This is a drift dunk. We got a track hawk. Oh, we're finna hit the wall. Oh, Camaro. Come on, Camaro.
really do. Alright, so I want my camera to be right here on the camera. been so clean if I didn't hit the pole. Like I was controlling it, but then when I went full throttle, it was like, yeah. Yeah, Try me like I can drift, hold on. tell you I knew he was gonna mess me up I almost had 10,000 points don't hit the wall that was so good so dope all right so that's gonna be the video for today you guys really do my car's so big, you want to drive over the wall. So yeah, uh, just make sure you hit that like button, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. And that's going to be it, so peace.